All right, singing dogs and all. Here we go. <laughs> All right. Hey, hey, everybody, welcome back. It's Monday. Not Sunday, Monday. I uh, took the day off because I had uh, gigged all from Thursday all through the weekend, and I was, I was tired by Sunday. Man, I was tired, but happy. Tired, but happy. Today, we're going to talk about you. And this is going to be a little, not a playing, well, it's going to help your playing, but it's not really a playing tutorial. It's a mental thing. Are you, you, stuck in a success slash fail loop, a success stag, slash fail, or hyphen if you want, success hyphen fail loop. And you right now just going, what, what the hell is that? Let me talk about, let me give you four examples from my studio. I've been teaching for about 10 years now and uh, playing in band since I was 11. <laughs> just a short time, right? Anyway, a success fail loop. So here's uh, here's student number one. Got a guy comes in, and uh, he's got an he's got a he's got an alto, and he wants to play. He just wants to play it. And in the two years he's been coming, it'll be two years uh, this year. Uh, he's gotten just a little bit better, not much, just a little bit. He didn't come in with aspirations to, uh, you know, play at uh, Carnegie Hall or any of that. He just he just wanted to he just wanted to play a saxophone, and he's doing it right. All right, student number two, woman, been coming for for absolute uh, 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 years, been coming for years, and uh, talked to game about how she had been better in the past, but let it go, and she's going to come back to it, right? And in two years, she's not gotten better, all right? She has not gotten better. I mean, not at all, not even demonstrably better. Come in with ideas, charts, things to do, bought new saxophones, all that sort of thing, right? New mouthpieces, read combinations. In fact, uh, this is a busy person, so I created all kinds of practice schemes, ideas to help her, you know, make 10 minutes work. Uh, nothing, not, not a thing. So her own goals that she set, never achieved any of them, not once. And what she does is she comes in, plays, bombs, and says, Oh man, I got to practice. That's every weekend. That is a success hyphen fail loop. All right. A success hyphen fail loop. First guy I talked about just, just happy as all heck to come over and, and play bad saxophone. He's successful in his mind. He's successful. You might think, oh man, oh, how can you sit through that? Hey, school cool guy. He's having fun. He's playing the horn, right? At his level. Second, the second, the woman, number two, exhibit number two, Your Honor, that is a success fail loop. All right, here's, a, here's a number three. Let me think about number three here. And a guy that uh, got a beautiful tenor sax and wanted to play that tenor sax, brought it over and uh, struggled mightily, really struggled uh, with, uh, with the equipment. Finally got to the place where he could make tone. Every week what he does is he says to me, Thank you for being patient with me. Thank you for being patient with me. Right? I mean, I, I'm, 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 I'm the coach. I'm the instructor. This is where you bring your bad playing, right? That's what we're here for. That's what we're working on. It, it requires no patience whatsoever. But that is the sign of an internal success slash fail loop. Yeah. All right. You're catching on. Third guy comes in, brand new at this. Bought a one of those discount beauties. Bought a beauty, absolute beauty horn. You know, and, and he can make he can make things happen. He knows things. He's had some lessons, and he's getting better. And says every time, no, nah, I'm, I'm light years away from that. I can't play that. All right. Again, that's a success hyphen or slash fail loop success fail loop are you catching on now that this is this is really not about your playing it's really about your internal dialogue with yourself oh yeah it's about what you're telling yourself i gotta practice oh man i i suck i gotta practice and you know that person goes home week after week and doesn't practice no all right. I mean, I know, you know, we all have busy lives and we all have to fit this stuff in, but there's no practicing going on because, you know, if there was, you'd be getting better. You can't fool me. No, sir. 
All right. Uh, the last example I gave you, we've corrected the language, right, to say, I can't play that yet. I can't play that yet. Okay. So add that to your add that to your 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 bag of tricks, right? If you're if you're walking around, so I go, oh, oh, that Michael Brecker, oh, I can't play that yet. Yet. Okay. There was a day when Michael Brecker couldn't play that. All right. We all start at the bottom and we work our way up. All of us, everybody, even Jimi Hendrix, guitar player. Why are you bringing a guitar player up, Dave? Because, you know, I mean, everybody knows who that is. Anyway, um, that's where I'm going with this. And the fellow that, that, you know, thanks me for my patience, I tell him every week, I say, no, 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 no. This is, this is where you come to work out work out the stuff, the junk in your trunk. This is this is what we're here for. If you were a kick-ass saxophone player, you wouldn't be coming here, right? I mean, you wouldn't be here if you were, you know, if you were if you were if you were rocking and rolling, right? You wouldn't you wouldn't be here. I had stuff to work on. I mean, and I do the same thing. The other night, uh, I played uh, a fill-in. I feel I did. I put my band together for a fill-in show at a club in town here. The headliner had canceled, and we had a last-minute call to go out there and play. And what I didn't know was that one of the other people at the club had called two absolute guitar giants. Giants. I mean giants. Not in physical stature, but players, right? And and uh, what my band and I are, are on stage going through our first, uh, you know, and, and the stagehands are bringing up these other two guys who got there kind of late. They drove down from L.A., and they're setting up their amps and gear, and I'm looking over, oh, my God, oh, my God. And for a minute... You know, I gave myself those, uh, uh, you, you, you don't belong on this stage with these two giants, right? And what do you think happened? Yeah, you guessed it. For a split second there, I forgot how to play the saxophone. I forgot how to play the saxophone. So, you know, you're, you're, that's what we're talking about today is, is what are you telling yourself? What messages are you giving yourself, all right? The, the, the person who is, uh, that woman is not practicing, who comes every week and has come and has, you know, we've, we've, we've run the gambit of, of ideas, uh, you know, and, and frankly, I'm kind of out of them. I don't, I don't know what else to, to do other than uh, just, just put on some, some tunes, some backing tracks and just wank away. I, you know, I'm not sure what else to do at this point because nothing, nothing catches hold and, and comes back. Uh, you, you know, so so the negative self-talk, working on that, right? You know, uh, if if you can't practice, then accept that. If you don't have time or the interest, generally the interest is strong enough to like say, hey, you know what? I'm gonna I'm gonna I'm gonna sit down for ten minutes and play. It took me a long time to figure out what worked for me. Okay. And I remember yeah, there's a marvelous, marvelous trumpet player in town named Gilbert Castiano. Gilbert, I hope I didn't just slaughter your name. What, a, what a absolutely beautiful soul and great guy. Runs the uh, Young Lions Academy here in town, and and among other things. And and he says he talks. You know, 7 a.m. He's up practicing, and I'm thinking. You know, I'm really I'm I'm having coffee and with the dogs at 7 a.m. Getting ready to go for a walk. 7 a.m. practice doesn't work for me. I don't think you should play saxophone before 11 o'clock in the morning, frankly. What works for me, and it took a long time to figure this out, is practicing at night. All right? Practicing at night. My neighbors are cool. Got a guitar player on one side and a night owl on the other. Could I be any luckier? And uh, so, so, you know, I sit... And uh, and run stuff that I need to learn or work on the you know backing track whatever blah 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 that's my thing you got to find out what works for you, and so far we haven't found what works for that woman because you know she keeps coming back and you know really wants to do it really seems to says that you know the words are there, but the acceptance is not the acceptance of you know I I uh, I'd like to practice but I can't I can't find a time to do that so just just bring what you got play with what you got at, at this stage of the game. Nothing is permanent. Everything changes, right? And, and and there might be an opportunity for that to change in the future. Just just maybe hang in there, but go easy on yourselves, okay? Go easy on yourselves. And that's not easy to do here in the land of YouTube, right? You are inundated every second of every day 
with, uh, with new pop-ups from new people who play saxophone who are, are not necessarily teachers or do not necessarily ever play gigs. This is their universe, right? They don't do anything but this. They polish riffs and they come up with ideas that they think you need to know. And, 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 and you're bombarded from, oh my God, all ends of it by people that just sit and, and, uh, and, and, and never leave the studio, never play with anybody else. And you, you get you get caught up in that and think, well, I got to do, oh, I got to do that. Well, I got to do that next. No, you know what you, you know, you, you know what you really you need to do? You need to go find a coach, get a tutor, get a mentor, get a saxophone teacher, yeah, I, whatever it is, or a practice buddy. I mean, who buys, who, you know, did you buy one of these things really to sit in your house and just look at YouTube stuff and play along with it? No, you didn't do that. You wanted to play. You had some, some vision of playing, right? Well, you got to do that. And, oh man, I got dog hair. Ah, ah, dog hair, itch. Oh, you know, it's obvious I don't edit. Um, we, I just sit and talk and I don't edit any of this stuff. So thank you for being with me. If you have any questions about that success hyphen fail loop and what it is, and if you're caught up in it and maybe you need some help getting out of it, uh, reach out. You know, I'm not an expert at that sort of thing, but I do though that that what you tell yourself, if it's negative, that's like cancer. Cancer kills people, and and negative self talk, man, you gotta cut that. You gotta cut that immediately, and that could be the first step toward a great solution. Just not you know catching yourself doing that. Oh, I gotta practice. Well, you don't have time to practice, or you don't like to practice, or you don't want to practice. So maybe change it up, right? Play. Maybe play with somebody who's got a piano or something. I don't know. Got to change it up. Got to make it appealing, and it's got to work for you. It's got to work for you. It's got to work. It's got to be personalized. It's got to fit your life, your mentality, what you'd like to do, what you'd like to hear coming out of the out of out of out of the, out of the, out of the little saxophone here, and, uh, and and we'll go from there. Okay. All right, so davegoodsax at gmail.com is a great place to leave comments uh, for me. Personal questions, if you have them, davegoodsax at gmail.com or drop something in the comments below. I always get back to everybody. If this helps, hey, hit the hit that love button for me. That helps me with the, with the YouTube people. And if you haven't subscribed yet, by all means, it costs you absolutely nothing. All right, so anyway, that's all I got for today. The success fail loop, are you stuck in it? Man, I sure hope not. I've been there. We get there, right? We all get there. It's just noticing it and then stopping the negative self-talk because, man, that can freeze your fingers. It can ruin your day. It can take all the joy out of playing this beautiful instrument. And that's what I would love to pass on to you is that this has been a passport for me. This has opened doors and made, enlarged my family tree and, and you know, put me in a beautiful place to live with, uh, with two handsome dogs. All right. I want the same for you. Take care. Be good to yourselves. Love one another and play your horn as it suits you. Davegoodsax at gmail.com. We'll talk again.